everyone and welcome to Vlogist 2018. It's Vlogist! Yay! I'm just here checking out my tomato plants. They're doing really well. We had a whole great crop of tomatoes and now we're working on our second one. I've declared August to be Mediterranean Lifestyle Month. Last August, if you'll remember, I posted a video every day in August of what I was eating as I was following the Mediterranean diet. And I'm doing that again this year. So I hope you follow along for lots of great recipes and lifestyle tips. We'll be taking La Passeggiata, which is an evening stroll. We'll be dining al fresco from time to time, which means eating outside under the sun. It's kind of a cloudy day here today, but I think the month is gonna be a lot of fun and we'll see what we get up to. It's time to make breakfast. For breakfast, I've diced up an avocado and a tomato from the garden, and I've made a little avocado spread with some salt, some black pepper, some red pepper flakes, and a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I have some toaster-sized naan, and I'm gonna make an over-easy egg, and we're gonna put the avocado mixture on it and the egg on top, and that's gonna be breakfast. running into the Italian bakery to get some bread and some breadcrumbs and some cheese and it started raining on us. Sun and rain mixed together. stores. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do that every day, but I wanted to stock up. So what do we have here? I bought some milk because uh, tomorrow I think we're going to try to make a vegetable lasagna with some bechamel sauce. Got some arugula, some blueberries, some figs, a beautiful pear, 
this orange pepper, some flat leaf parsley, because the ones, I have some in the garden, but it's kind of looking old now. <laughs> some cucumbers, some tomatoes, a mix from the farm of zucchini primavera that might go into our vegetable lasagna. Got some crushed tomatoes. We have a spinach salad here that we got at the farm. Probably eat part of that for a little snack or some lunch today. I have a fennel, some spring onions, some radishes, a bag of cuties, some cooking olive oil, some eggplant, some baby carrots, a spring mix salad. I want to make stuffed peppers at some point later in the week. Um, I thought it'd be fun to have one of each color because it just looks pretty and it'll be fun. I got some tortilla chips. Got some flax seed because I like to eat things like banana slices with just some flax seeds sprinkled on top. But at the Italian bakery, we bought they have really good breadcrumbs that they make themselves, and some cheese and a sliced high top. What they call it is a high top. And so that is our food. Wow, that is a bounty, isn't it? For lunch, we have a tasty little spinach salad. I bought it at the farm. So it was a family size spinach salad and it has some, looks like it has slivers of almonds and it has blueberries, strawberries, lots of spinach. I love spinach, but it came with this dressing and neither of us like it and we don't know what the ingredients are. So I made my own out of some extra virgin olive oil, a little white wine vinegar and a little salt and pepper. It's really all you need. like this I like to come in my room and just have a little quiet time before I start making dinner or anything like that it's uh, it's almost four o'clock um, I like to stay in here for about a half hour maybe 45 minutes and just relax I don't really take a nap usually I'm not much of a napper um, but I like to listen to music just kind of like really peaceful meditative music or maybe sometimes I'll actually do a meditation or I'll write in my journal I have this crazy looking journal because I'm still a nine-year-old girl at heart <laughs> so my journal has to have sequins on it um, but so I'll just spend a little time to myself and just be at peace and uh, it's so hot out today that sometimes it was a weird day it was very cloudy out but then the summer came out really strong and then once in a while it would rain for five minutes and uh, it just made the whole day just so humid and steamy and it's just kind of gross out and I don't do well in the heat I overheat right away you can see I'm kind of red so that's why I like to just come in and just have a moment of peace and just lie down for about a half hour 45 minutes so that's what I'm gonna do now and then I'll show you what we're gonna make for dinner salad to go with the meatballs so here I have some arugula I love arugula it has a spicy flavor and I'm gonna have some spring mix and then everything I chopped is also going into the bowl so we had an orange pepper some cucumber 
spring onion, and a pear. I know pears aren't really in season, but they seemed pretty nice and it looked pretty and it tastes good. So now for the dressing. Oops, I forgot to put in the radish. And now for a dressing. Ooh, I have some sea salt. Some freshly cracked black pepper. Well, actually it's a mix of peppers. Little different colors. Some red pepper flakes. Just a touch, but they really wake up the pear. And I never make a salad without some dried oregano. So there's some dried oregano. And now I have some white wine vinegar. And some Italian extra virgin olive oil. You're probably thinking, ooh, olive oil on a pear. But you'll see. Now I'm just gonna toss it all together. All these different colors. eggplant meatballs for dinner. So we just chopped all the ingredients, which you just saw, and we're going to saute the eggplant in a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of water to soften it down, and then it's going into the blitzer. Here we have the eggplant mixture and now we need to put something in here to bind it together. But first I'm gonna let it cool off because binding it together to form meatballs means an egg and some breadcrumbs and we're gonna add some Romano cheese. So I don't wanna cook the egg and the cheese before I want them to cook. So we're gonna let this cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Mix it together, put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes so that it has a chance to kind of solidify and it'll make it easier to roll into meatball shapes. are going in the oven at 385 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to check them at about 20 minutes but they might take about 30. Hot sizzling meatballs fresh out of the oven. They're eggplant. Would you be able to tell that they're not beef? These meatballs are going to go into this tomato sauce. I didn't show you how to make the tomato sauce because I've probably done that on my YouTube channel four or five times. So you can look up one of the other ones and now the meatballs are going into the sauce. Oh yeah. <laughs> what fun.
makeup on you in half so you can see what it looks like inside. Oh, that looks so delicious. I love when tomato sauce gets on my salad. That's a very Italian thing. Right <laughs> Buon appetito. it for today folks that is vlogist day one in the can <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the recipes um i wanted to tell you something about the meatballs um we cooked them for 20 minutes in the oven and then they still weren't looking like they were done so i painted them with a little bit of olive oil and then i let them go for another 10 minutes and then they were perfect so when we added them to the sauce they didn't just fall apart they actually stayed together so it came out very well um i really enjoyed it i hope you try it and uh it's time for me to just chill out now. I'm gonna, I have to edit this video, of course, but I'm gonna just listen to some music and light some candles and just relax because it's been a very busy day. We don't have to do any shopping tomorrow because we have everything we need for all the meals we wanna cook tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow will be um, a lot of fun and please join me again and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you wanna know every time that one of my videos goes live. So I hope you're enjoying Vlogus and the Mediterranean Lifestyle Immersion Month and I'll see you later. Bye.